what I discovered is real-world data is very erroneous and very messy. And it was at that time I started to change my PhD direction. Instead of focusing on cheating detection and what is the intersection of computer science and online education and human learning, I started shifting more to machine learning algorithms that can deal with real-world data so that we can start to make AI actually work for real, co real companies, real people, and real yeah. problems. We're really trying to help with not the creation of the content, but taking all of that material that has already been mm -hmm. produced and now converting it into a, a conversational interaction. Mm -hmm. Because that's how we're really wired more as humans nowadays is yeah. to converse, which is what you and I are doing right now. It's important that people understand that AI doesn't have to be scary, as I mentioned. It's only scary if there isn't a solution. And AFID is providing that safe haven for people to say, hey, I, I at least have somewhere where I can still earn money. This is something that people can do themselves by like scouring LinkedIn or whatever to see who's posting about being there. But we have a whole AI machine that's going out and gathering all of this data, as well as first party partnerships with organizers where we're, we are their trusted third-party platform to like facilitate this data sharing. So yeah. there's a lot of information that we have that you can't really get anywhere else, but it's yeah. been kind of enabled with just some of these developments in AI and, and, and whatnot that just wasn't possible before.